This is Joe Delio from the Palo Alto Networks community team bringing you a Palo Alto Networks video tutorial. In today's video tutorial, I'll be talking with you about wildfire and what it is. What you'll learn from this video tutorial. What is wildfire? Ways to deploy wildfire. Wildfire concepts and wildfire subscription requirements. So firstly, what is wildfire? Wildfire provides detection and prevention of zero-day malware using a combination of malware sandboxing, signature-based detection, and blocking of malware. Wildfire extends the capabilities of Palo Alto Network's next-generation firewalls to identify and block targeted and unknown malware. Next, let's look at a high-level wildfire decision workflow. Depending on how you configure your firewall policy, how it can forward files to the wildfire cloud to analyze them, how it determines if something is a malware or a virus or a malicious program that places these files in a virtual sandbox. It looks for any behavior, whether it's trying to transmit sensitive data off of the network, if it's exhibiting any command and control communication, or if it's attempting to download any additional malware. It observes and detects over 100 malicious behaviors to do identify the malware. After it makes a decision, it will add to the Threat Signature Research Database. It then adds it to the Pattern Database, then to the Single Pass Pattern Match, and then the Report and Enforce Your Security Policy. Next, on to the different ways you can deploy Wildfire. You can do it in a Wildfire Public Cloud, a Private Cloud, or you can have a Wildfire Hybrid Cloud. In a public cloud deployment, Palo Alto Networks Firewall forwards the files to a hosted wildfire environment that Palo Alto Networks owns and maintains. As wildfire detects new malware, it generates new signatures within 15 to 30 minutes. Firewalls equipped with a wildfire subscription can receive the new signatures within 15 minutes. Firewalls with a normal threat prevention subscription will receive the new signatures within the next antivirus signature update, which is traditionally within 24 to 48 hours. In a Palo Alto Networks private cloud deployment, Palo Alto Networks firewalls forward files to a Wildfire 500 appliance that is located on your corporate network being used to host a private cloud analysis. The Wildfire private cloud hosting on a local Wildfire 500 appliance can receive and analyze files up to 100 different Palo Alto Networks firewalls. With the local sandboxing of malware provided by the Wildfire private cloud, benign or grayware files never leave your network. In a hybrid cloud deployment, a single firewall can forward certain samples to the Wildfire public cloud and other samples to a Wildfire private cloud hosted by a Wildfire 500 WF500 appliance. Configure the settings on the firewall to forward files to a Wildfire analysis location, either a public cloud or a private cloud, based on the file type, application, and transmission direction of the file, either uploaded or downloaded. Now on to some Wildfire concepts. We'll be talking about virtual sandbox, Vertex, file type analysis, email link analysis, and then lastly signatures. We can start off with the virtual sandbox. Wildfire executes suspect files it receives in a virtual environment and observes the file's behavior for signs of malicious activities, such as changes to browser security settings, injection of code into other processes, modification of the files in the Windows system folder, or domains that the sample attempted to access. The Wildfire Public Cloud also analyzes files across application versions in order to identify malware intended to uniquely target specific versions of client applications. The Wildfire Private Cloud does not support multi-version analysis and does not analyze application-specific files are analyzed across several versions of the application. When the Wildfire engine completes the file analysis, it generates a detailed forensics report and summarizes the observed behaviors and assigns a verdict of malware, benign, or grayware to the file. Similarly, Wildfire will extract links in email messages and visits the links to determine if the corresponding web page hosts any exploits. If Wildfire detects malicious behavior, it generates report 
and submits the URL to the PANDB and categorizes the URLs as malware. Wildfire includes the sandbox support for the following operating system environments. Microsoft XP 32-bit, Microsoft Windows 7 32-bit, and Microsoft Windows 7 64-bit. Now on to verdicts. Wildfire delivers verdicts to identify samples it analyzes as safe, malicious, or unwanted. Grayware is considered obtrusive but not malicious. If a file is benign, the sample is safe and it does not exhibit any malicious behavior. If a file is grayware, the sample does not pose a direct security threat but might display otherwise obtrusive behavior. Grayware files typically include adware, spyware, browser helper objects, or BHOs. If it's malware, then the sample is considered malicious in nature or intent and possesses a security threat. Malware can include viruses, worms, trojans, remote access tools, rootkits, and botnets. For files identified as malware, Wildfire generates and distributes a signature to prevent against future exposure to that threat. Next is file type analysis. A Palo Alto Networks firewall can be configured with a wildfire analysis profile in order to forward samples for wildfire analysis based on the file type. If the user downloads a file sample over a session that matches a security rule to which the wildfire analysis profile is attached, the the firewall performs a file hash check with wildfire to determine if wildfire has previously analyzed the file. If the file is unknown, the firewall forwards it to Wildfire. If the file has already been uploaded, it will just skip the file and show that in the logs. Here are the supported file types. APK, which are the Android application package. Email link, which are just traditional email links inside of email messages. Adobe Flash, JAR or Java applets. MS Office or Microsoft Office files which include DOC, DOCX, XLS, XLSX, Microsoft Office applications. PE, which are portable executable files. It could be object code, DLLs, or even fonts. Subscriptions are not required to forward the portable executables to, for wildfire analysis, but it is required for all other supported file types. And PDF files also. Next is email link analysis. A Palo Alto Networks firewall can extract HTTP or HTTPS links contained in SMTP and POP3 mail messages and forward the links to the wildfire public or private clouds for analysis. Enable forwarding of unknown links contained in emails by configuring a wildfire analysis profile with the email link file type. The firewall only extracts links and associated session information, sender, recipient, and subject, from the email messages that traverse the firewall, it does not receive, store, or forward, or even view the email message. After receiving a link from a firewall, Wildfire visits the link to determine the corresponding web page, host any exploits. If Wildfire determines that the page itself is benign or grayware, it will not generate a log. However, if it does detect malicious behavior on the page, the firewall returns a malicious verdict and it can generate a detailed analysis report on the logs and report to the wildfire submissions log on the firewall. The log includes the email header information, email sender, recipient, and subject so that you can identify the message and delete it from the mail server or mitigate the threat if the email has already been delivered or opened. It also adds the URL to the PANDB and categorizes the URL as malware. The firewall forwards the email links to Wildfire in batches of 100 email links or every two minutes depending on which limit is hit first. Each batch upload to Wildfire counts as one upload towards the upload per minute capacity for the given firewall platform. If a link included in the email corresponds to a download instead of a URL, the firewall forwards the file to Wildfire for analysis only if a corresponding file type is enabled for Wildfire analysis. Now on the signatures, Wildfire can automatically generate a signature based on the malware payload of the sample and test it for accuracy and safety. Because the malware evolves rapidly, the signatures that Wildfire generates will address multiple variants of the malware. 
as wildfire detects new malware, it generates new signatures within 15 to 30 minutes. Firewalls equipped with a firewall subscription can receive new signatures within 15 minutes. Again, if you do not have a wildfire subscription, signatures will be made available within 24 to 48 hours as part of the antivirus update for firewalls equipped with a threat prevention subscription. As soon as the firewall downloads and installs a new signature, the firewall drops any files that contain that malware or the variant of the malware. Information gathered by wildfire during the analysis of the malware is used to fortify other threat prevention features, such as adding malware to URLs to PanDB, generating DNS signatures, antivirus, and anti-spyware signatures. Palo Alto Networks also developed signatures for command and control traffic, enabling immediate disruption in the communication of any malware inside your network. Lastly, the wildfire subscription requirements. To receive the full benefits of the wildfire service, each firewall connected to the wildfire public cloud or private cloud must have a wildfire subscription, which includes the following. Wildfire dynamic updates, as we stated before, these updates are generated within 15 to 30 minutes after the wildfire identifies a malicious sample. Wildfire generates new malware signatures and distributes them in the wildfire dynamic updates, which the firewall can pull every 15, 30, or 60 minutes. You can configure the firewall to take specific actions on malware signatures separate from the regular antivirus signature actions in the antivirus profile. The wildfire signatures delivered in the dynamic update will include signatures generated for malware detected in the files submitted to wildfire by Palo Alto Network's wildfire customers, not just the samples that your firewall sends to wildfire. Next is the wildfire advanced file type support. It allows the firewall to forward samples of the wildfire analysis based on the file type and to configure the firewall to extract and forward links included in email messages to the wildfire email link analysis. Lastly is the wildfire API. It provides access to the wildfire API, which enables direct programmatic access to the wildfire service on Palo Alto Network's wildfire cloud or WF wildfire 500 appliance. Use the Wildfire API to submit files for analysis and to receive the subsequent Wildfire analysis reports. The Wildfire API supports up to 1,000 file submissions and up to 10,000 queries a day. Only firewalls with a Wildfire subscription can forward files to a Wildfire 500, WF500 appliance for private cloud analysis. Inside of the article on the live.paloaltonetworks.com, I will be having links for capacity information as well as information on the signatures and benefits of the wildfire subscription. This concludes this week's video tutorial about what is wildfire. I hope this has helped you understand more about wildfire and look forward to the next video tutorial on how to configure wildfire and how to view the logs. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.